Title, Typhoon Mawa Lights Out Party, Most of Guam Celebrates an Unplanned Blackout. TLDR, Guam said bye-bye to electricity after Typhoon Mawa paid a surprise visit. With no reported injuries or deaths yet, everyone's safe, but the impromptu lights out party could last a while, especially with 20 inches of rain expected. And yeah, we're talking about an island with a population roughly equivalent to Salt Lake City. Typhoon Mawa, moving with all the urgency of a snail at 8 miles per hour, decided to pop over to Guam for a bit of chaos and fun. The result? A most unexpected blackout party for the residents of the island. With a storm surge that's threatening to throw its own kind of wet, wild party, this is going to be a night, or several, to remember, right? So, what do you do when your quiet Tuesday evening is crashed by a typhoon and the most popular guest of the night, electricity, decides to bail? Well, the people of Guam are figuring that out right now, and it's making for a great, if not slightly damp, story. But let's not forget about the rain. We're not talking a drizzle here, people. We're talking 20 inches of rain. That's taller than your average two-year-old. What happens when your island gets drenched with two feet of rainfall? No reports of injuries or deaths have emerged so far, so this isn't some horror movie. But it's definitely a suspenseful one with 170,000 people sitting in the dark, wondering what the heck Mawa's next move will be. Will it sashay, northwest or perhaps pull a surprise twist and go south? Now, let's talk about storm surges. These bad boys can cause serious flooding. So the question we're all thinking is, will Mawa bring a watery plus one to the blackout party? Despite the odds, the people of Guam are hanging tough. Let's face it, they've had practice. Typhoons are not exactly a rarity in these parts. So, one might even say they're veterans when it comes to dealing with these situations. But even for the most experienced typhoon partiers, this could be a biggie. So, what's your move if you're in their shoes? How do you turn a typhoon into an adventure rather than a disaster? And while we're at it, what would you do to keep the spirits high and the feel if you were stuck in the midst of this blackout party? Disclaimer. This article is purely informational and not intended to provide emergency preparedness advice. In any emergency situation, always follow the directives of official authorities. So, what do you think, readers? What's the wildest weather event you've ever lived through? And how did you keep your cool when things got heated, or in this case, seriously wet? At the end of the day, it all boils down to one thing, how do you keep your light shining during a blackout? And, can you turn a power cut into a power surge of community and resilience? Let's hear those stories. And, of course, to everyone in Guam, stay safe and hang in there. You got this.